everyone. How excited am I to show you something? Now, everybody knows I love to go forage, right? So, I decided, well, what do we do if we can't always go out or we don't have a place nearby to go? I decided I was going to try out, guess what, one of the kits on growing mushrooms. So I'm going to show you what I bought and I will put a link for you so you'll see which ones I picked up. Here we go. And I bought these from Amazon and I decided I was going to pick the uh, pink oysters and the blue oysters. So here they are. They come in a beautiful package like this. And then basically what you have to do is you have to cut up the a little window here and you're supposed to soak this in water for 24 hours. And then basically you put it in a place such as your kitchen counter or um, anywhere where the sun is not shining. Mind you, they also said you can grow this outdoors. But basically you just place it anywhere on a counter and you missed it a couple of times, uh, a couple of times a day, and uh, you should be growing mushrooms out of this pouch for 12 hours. My mistake. Uh, my daughter says that it's for 12 hours that we soak them, not 24 hours. There you go. 12 hours to soak it in a bowl of water, and then basically they tell you to mist it, and we should be able to see one to four crops if you're lucky up to four crops but who's ready to see some beautiful some beautiful mushrooms and grow them right in your house so they say indirect light always keep them moist 10 to 14 days you should have some mushrooms and between two to four so this is the pink one and this is the blue one i'm going to do one at a time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with my pink one and this one I should maybe refrigerate. I think if you ref if you refrigerate it, you keep the spores um, intact. Um, it doesn't say anywhere to keep it refrigerated, but I would think that would be the best way to go. But I will check and I will put a link for you for sure right under right under there. I will put a link and tell you if you should refrigerate it or if you should not. So I'm going to start off with this one. I'm going to get a bowl of water. So they say to pierce the window or to peel it back. And yeah, this is exciting. I'm going to put a little cross down the center here. There you go. And there's my cross. So I have a pot of water rather than a bowl of water. But I am going to put this here. Oh, sorry about that. Like this. And just get this bag nice and wet. And that's going to be for 12 hours. And then the next time I come back, it's going to have soaked for 12 hours. And then I'm just going to find a place to put it. And hopefully in a few days, I shall have beautiful pink oysters that I'm going to be able to cut and fry up in a pan or I can put them on a barbecue and grill them. That's fantastic by the way. So how exciting guys if you can't go out and pick your own mushrooms because you're not sure what these mushrooms are if they're edible and I'm telling you now do not go pick mushrooms if you're not sure which one is edible I say leave the wild mushrooms where they are. You have to be 100% sure before you pick anything. So here's an alternative. Rather than going to the store and buying them, uh, here's an alternative on how to pick your own mushrooms. And it's exciting to be able to see them grow. So I'm going to see you in a little bit. And we're going to speed up that time. And you're going to see these mushrooms, this bag already soaked. And then... Again, we're going to start seeing these mushrooms. So I'm going to film it every day so you have an idea what it looks like. So thank you guys. I will put a link where I bought them. And you have so many different options you can pick up. And this is like an easy way of growing your own mushrooms. If you want to get a little fancier, you could always buy the spores and you could inoculate your own wood or places in your garden. And that's a, just a little more advanced 
than taking this pouch and putting it in some water and letting your mushrooms grow out of there. But I will put a link for you guys. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in a little bit, and you're going to see some magic happening. Okay, so we're back. We've had this bag soaking now. I'm just going to get some of the water out. There we go. And I'm going to put it on a plate. So we had it soaking for 12 hours. And now basically all I need to do is get a small um, spray bottle. And I am going to spray it every day. At least twice. Possible three times a day. Until I start seeing mushrooms. Okay guys. Day two. I just want to show you. Feels nice and wet. But we're supposed to spray it every day. So here's my water sprayer. I'm going to spray the bag. Spray some on the floor. Not the floor, sorry. There we go. Some on top. And get it nice and wet. You could actually leave this open. I might do that. So let me just go get a knife. I'll be right back. There we go. Just kind of open that up a little so I can spray the inside. And we're going to keep that nice and moist. I'm also keeping a bag over it. This bag has little vents. This used to be an old banana bag. Just to keep the mushrooms when they start growing. Uh, moist and not dry up because I heard some people when they get really big they start drying up notice the water driblets it's just gonna keep the mushrooms moist and hopefully I'm gonna get some beautiful beautiful oyster mushrooms so there you go guys day two Okay guys, I really messed up this video. I wanted to show you like a time, a time lap? Time lapse? Yeah, I wanted to show you a time lapse on mushrooms that I am growing at home. And I was excited to show you because I said, you know what, if you guys don't know how to pick mushrooms and you're not sure which mushrooms to pick, how exciting is it where you can actually 
uh, grow your own from home and have that excitement that I have when I find mushrooms. And this is just as exciting when you see them grow. Uh, there's really something spectacular. So I'm going to take these mushrooms to my kitchen and I'm going to show you. Just give me a second, guys. I don't want to drop this. Here we go. Now, I, I keep a bag on it because I like to keep a little extra moisture. Uh, and you can see how the bag has all the moisture. And what it does is helps the mushroom grow and not dry up, especially if it's dry in your area or in your home. But I just wanted to show you, uh, I bought two packages. So when I do not find mushrooms, I can actually grow some mushrooms. And look at this. How exciting is this? These are what you call beautiful pink oyster mushrooms. You see that white stuff under there? I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm going to lift it up slowly. You see that stuff? You know what that is? Sorry. The spores of the mushrooms. This is what helps us grow mushrooms. As the spores fall in the woods, what it does is it just makes more mushrooms unfortunately it's falling on a plastic plate right now but look at the un underside of these beautiful pink oysters that i'm growing over here so this was an exciting thing for me to share with you the problem is that i messed up the video i end up going to the country and when we did and i had it covered but when i got back uh, some of the mushrooms that were growing did end up dying but look at this they will keep growing for at least four times. Now, these ones are pretty much ready to harvest, I think. These bigger ones. And we could cook these up right away. But they're beautiful pink oysters. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? So, if you're afraid to go picking in the woods, uh, if you're not sure what mushrooms you're able to pick, because mushrooms can make you very sick if they're not the right mushrooms. So I would say start off with maybe growing some at home, buy some of these packages. They're not that expensive. They're not cheap, cheap, but they're not expensive because if I would buy these oyster mushrooms, uh, this, by the second batch, it's already paid for the package. And the idea is that it's so fun to watch these mushrooms grow and see how they actually grow. And they grow quickly, guys. When I say quickly, you got to keep this package moist, so I'm just going to put this up here for now. Give me a second, guys. just want to adjust this camera. So, look how beautiful these things are. I just want to show you the beauty of these mushrooms. They're like something else. And those, again, like I said, those are the spores. This is what falls off the mushrooms and it falls onto wood or um, other things that they, especially uh, the oyster mushrooms grow on hardwood. And what the spores does is it just makes more mushrooms grow. So just to show you what it looks like. This is <laughs> the, I know, isn't it beautiful? These are the spores of these pink oyster mushrooms. And this is what's grown so far. I wish I was able to do a time lapse for you. I kind of messed it up because I, let me just put this sponge. This is a clean sponge that I keep wet and it also helps with the mushrooms. So I really wanted to show you how beautiful they are when they grow and they start off with like a little nothing and in a couple of days you've got these beautiful mushrooms. But yeah, these ones are goners. You see that Erica? Yeah, these are goners. Unfortunately, I couldn't help that. But I do have two nice batches that I am going to cook up for my daughter today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want these or do you want these chanterelles? Both. Eh? Both. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is like the... Yeah, so I'm just going to cut it. Maybe I need a smaller... So yeah, beautiful. they are beautiful. So right at the bottom here.
Can you just hold it there for me, Erica? So there are my beautiful pink oysters that I grew myself at home. There's another one I can cut here. Aren't they beautiful? Can I smell it? Mmm. Delicious. Oh my god. So, so now this package alone, uh, you're able to, um, you're able to grow, uh, you're able to grow four batches of mushrooms, they say. So I'm going to leave these little ones. Unfortunately, I did lose some, like this one here, this one here, but that wasn't wasn't my intention because I end up, like I said, I end up going to the country and I did cover it. I said to myself, you know what, if I cover it, at least I'll be able to uh, keep the moisture in there. But I guess it wasn't enough moisture for, uh, for what it needed. So I would tell you, if you're gonna make mushrooms at home or if you're gonna grow mushrooms at home, plan it when you're not um, plan it when you're not uh, going away for a weekend and make sure that you can have these things growing properly or do research and see what you got to do to actually let them grow the right way but I am going to continue spraying these every day and these are going to grow these little ones here are going to grow larger and it should make more mushrooms uh, I also bought uh, the blue, the blue oysters, which I'm excited to try, but I have that in the fridge. But for now, this is what I'm growing. It's the pink oyster, and I can't wait to have some of this with Erica for lunchtime. So, how exciting. So, guys, if you can't pick mushrooms outdoors, I'll put a link where I bought these. I bought these on Amazon, actually. Uh, but if you can't go out and pick mushrooms or you're afraid to pick mushrooms because you don't know what to pick, because believe it or not, let me just shut this. Oh no, wrong one. Okay, here we go. Um, there's a mushroom that looks like an oyster called the angel wings. Now some places say yes, uh, they're edible and some places say no, they're not edible. So again, when you're picking mushrooms, you have to really be careful. But when you're picking mushrooms like this, you know it's safe. And it's just exciting to see them grow, guys. So here's my first harvest. And I know that if I would have bought this at the store, it would have been easy. I'd say about $10 worth of oyster mushrooms. So look how beautiful they are. And we're going to share this together, my, my daughter and I. But like I said, if you're, uh, if you're new at mushroom picking and you want to pick mushrooms, but you're afraid to, I say do a lot of homework. And another thing I'm going to tell you is... Uh, let uh, go out and maybe buy yourself a package and start with that and see how uh, how you like doing this. And if you like mushrooms as much as we do, you're going to be able to really enjoy uh, some of the stuff that you can grow from home. But yeah, very, very exciting stuff. If you're going to go mushroom hunting, I say before you pick, before you taste your mushrooms, um, because there's a way of tasting and then spitting out. But if you don't know what the mushroom is, I say put nothing in your mouth. But if you're afraid to pick in the woods, I say start with maybe a small package like this for 20 something dollars and just the excitement of watching these mushrooms grow. That's really something else. So, and they're so beautiful. Look at these beautiful pink oyster mushrooms. They're just amazing to look at. So there you go. Maybe the blue ones, I'm going to try and see if I could do the time lap for you. Kind of messed this one up, but that's okay. There's always a next time, right guys? So thank you again for dropping by and watching this crazy little video of mine. I wish it was a better video, but I was excited to show you um, how you can actually grow some at home and actually grow mushrooms from your home. 
and these ones here don't have to be grown in the basement i know some mushrooms like the dark these ones don't have to be in the dark pink oyster mushrooms from home guys here's our beautiful chanterelles that we picked and i want to show you uh, normally we don't want to wash these because they are very spongy and they're going to pick up a lot of moisture let me just zoom out a bit here we go so i'll show you what i will do just get yourself a little paintbrush and basically just knock off whatever little dirt is on there right now i'm knocking it right over these other ones where i shouldn't i should have a separate place to knock that dirt off here we go and these are gonna bless you erica and these are going to be ready to be cooked now um you could cut these completely in half or even quarters now here is the difference between a chanterelle and a jack-o-lantern the jack-o-lantern inside is all orange and the chanterelle looks nice and white inside right eric the chanterelle is white on the inside and the jack-o-lantern is orange yellow inside so and they have false gills these gills are not true gills so that's another way of knowing that these are chanterelles but yeah very easy to cook and very delicious they smell almost fruity like an apricot and they're they have a nice little spice to them so these are very delicious now I'm going to be mixing these yellow chanterelles with these beautiful pink oysters that I harvested from my kitchen, believe it or not. Aren't they beautiful? So I will be mixing these and those together and make my daughter and myself a nice little mushroom lunch that we're going to have next to something else. But how exciting is this? So I am just going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, some garlic, some salt, and that's all you need. Maybe if I want to put a little bit of basil, I'll do that. Or maybe even some fresh thyme. But really, these mushrooms are so delicious that you don't really have to put anything except for some olive oil and some garlic if you want. Really, really good. A little bit of salt and you're done. So I'm going to clean up these mushrooms. Usually, you want to clean them right on the spot. We were so excited that day. We just got excited and, yeah, we just got excited. It was a nice little batch of mushrooms that we got. But yeah, you don't want to wash these if you... And a little bit of B12 is never going to kill anybody, right? There was no poop or anything where these mushrooms were. It was, And these are a mushroom that, believe it or not, you won't get any uh, worms. Where the bolites, as they get older, but other mushrooms... The worms will get to the inside of them so but these ones no beautiful beautiful mushrooms these got a little dry because we picked them when did we pick these eric last week. last week so it's a week we have them in the fridge wrapped in paper towels <clears throat> so if you're going to store your mushrooms do not store them in a bag because you will they will become a mess what you want to do is wrap them in some paper towels and just put them in the fridge or paper towels and then a bag but do not put them straight in a bag because you will destroy your mushrooms and especially at the price of chanterelles they're so expensive if you want to buy them at the store that you do not want to spoil these mushrooms so if you're gonna find a whole batch I say put them in the refrigerator wrapped in paper uh, if you're planning to eat them uh, the whole week or if you're not going to be eating all of them at one time because you've got so much i say then uh, go ahead and put them uh, straight in the freezer for when you want to eat them but yeah don't make these mushrooms go to waste they're like depending they go from 29 29 to 40 dollars a pound guys that's how expensive these mushrooms are so do not waste them if you find them do not waste these mushrooms so yes, wrap them in paper towels. They might just dry up a little like these ones did. They're not super dry, but they're 
a little drier but that's okay it just gives it a meatier taste to your mushroom but very easy very easy to cook and they're so delicious that they're so delicious that's all I could tell you is they're so delicious the bullets you have to try uh, you have to know your bullets because there's some bullets that when you uh, when you touch them and rub them they go completely blue black and those are not edible and again do your homework know your stuff I'm still learning myself I mean I sound like such an expert but believe it or not I have a lot to learn when it comes to mushrooms there's a few choice edibles that I know of that I'm okay with but I've seen a lot of mushrooms that it's like, okay, what is this? And I will not even, even if I think, even if I think I know what that mushroom is, I would never, never eat it because you just don't want to take that chance. Do you know how many good mushrooms I threw away? Uh, here's a good example of what a chanterelle looks like as it gets older, kind of, first it's more like, down and as it gets older it kind of cups up but you have to be careful because there is a poisonous look-alike for someone who's not quite sure and it's called the jack-o-lantern and that mushroom believe it or not what is it with the believe it or not and that mushroom if you put it in the dark the gills will actually glow on you so you know you've got a jack-o'-lantern if it glows in the dark. I have to save some to make my daughter Amanda taste. Tomorrow is my birthday, guys. <sighs> I'm getting older. What else is new? I'm not going the other way around. I keep going downhill. But in my head, I'm as young as a teenager. That's the best part about the mind, eh? Very powerful tool, your mind. And as long as I could think I'm young, I feel young. And my daughter Erica keeps me young. She's got me hiking and she's got me doing all kinds of great stuff that I normally would not have done if it wasn't for her. That's for sure. Well, maybe I shouldn't say I would not normally do it. But she does keep me on my toes. That's for sure. So my daughter's coming over tomorrow with the kids, her hubby. And I want her to try the chanterelles. So I have to leave some behind. But yeah, if you love mushrooms, it doesn't take long to eat mushrooms. In no time at all. I mean, I could have cooked all of these up in just one person. But we have to always try and stretch it because by the time we go back and pick some more, it could be a while. We're supposed to get some kind of rain today, so that's a good thing. I used to hate when I used, well, not hate. I shouldn't say I used to hate. But, you know, gloomy. But now when it rains, I get all excited. Because I know if it rains, guess what, guys? I'm going to be picking mushrooms. We're going to cook these first because these are so delicate. I'm not sure if you've ever tried oyster mushrooms, but they're like pillows of clouds. They are the most delicate, the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mushroom ever. Look at this. And look how beautiful the pink ones are. So these will be thrown into the pan right at the end. I am going to first cook these up and get these down a little. And they really don't need that much cooking either. So I've got the olive oil in there. And when I do... Uh, look, it's a little baby... Yeah, we stole the babies too. Um, I should not have done that. I should have left that to grow or for someone else to harvest. But sometimes, you know, the greediness comes out of us. And that was not a very nice thing for me to do. But we learn what our mistakes, right? I'm not going to cry over what I did. I am going to not do it next time. But yeah, try and leave the small ones if you can. And just pick the larger ones. Okay, so when I do cook mushrooms, I don't like to crush my garlic. What I like to do is either make them in slivers, where I'm just going to cut them this way, and throw them right into the pan. I'll get a little, a little cutting board like this. So 
when I'm doing the mushrooms, I like to just cut my garlic in larger pieces like this and not put that much garlic either. You really don't need that much. Cut them as thin as you can and throw them right into... Erica, you want to just throw them? Here we go. We're just going to cut this garlic nice and thin. Like I said, when you're cooking these beautiful mushrooms, you don't want to camouflage their taste. You want to be able to uh, take as much of the beautiful taste the mushroom has. So don't put too much garlic. I'm going to put just one clove with this. I'm just going to put that aside. That's it. We're going to put just a little bit of salt. And olive oil. You really don't need more than that, guys. There we go. So we're going to cook these up first. And then we're going to put these beautiful, beautiful oyster mushrooms right at the end so it still holds its integrity. There we go. Sorry, Erica, thank you. They really don't take long to cook either. Taste it for salt. I wish you could smell this, guys. Like that out. Some fresh thyme. And since these are almost done, we can now put our oysters. Okay, since they're already cooked, all I have to do is add our oyster mushrooms. There we go. Oh, I just lost one on the floor. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful, guys? Oh my God, he's scratching me. extra time and these are done a little bit of pepper Erica? from the, the pepper. yeah yeah there we go 
finished. Okay, let me take this. I can pause this one? Yeah. There you go guys, beautiful homegrown and hand-picked mushrooms from the wild and lunch is served. So I hope you like this little video guys and guess what, I'll see you in the next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.